Hey folks, we've got Apocalypse 2015 with the forces of order versus the forces of chaos, all fighting for a relic in the center of the table guarded by these inactive uh, Imperial Knights. But once the objective was taken, the relic was in hand, the Knights became active and smashed into the forces of order's line, just destroying things and ripping them to pieces. It was incredible. Um, there was so much on the table. We had the Eldar and the Space Marines teamed up. I was able to get my uh, scratch-built Revenant Titan out there. I've got my Scorpions out there and my entire Air Force. There we had a Warhound Titan on our side. They had a Chaos one on theirs. There were knights on either side. Look at this little towel. He's got kind of chomped up there by the, <laughs> the, the, the wolf. There was, at one point, so much stuff on the table that regardless of where you shot your blast templates, if they drifted, they're still going to hit something. And I kind of did manage to, you know, accidentally kill a few of our own units with some really bad rolls. There was a really neat objective that became live during the game, and it brought on, because Chaos stole it from us, they were able to maintain it. They actually gained two squadrons of Lehman Russes. Another point in the game, there was an orbital platform that became active, and a warlord from each side, accompanied by a squad, went to a separate table where they fought on the platform for control of it, and the victor got control of orbital bombardments once per turn. So... So much fun. Uh, there were some really cool things happening on both sides of the uh, team, uh, or tables. So what really, really won the, the day for at least the uh, demons and chaos was their ability to get uh, their psychic abilities off and maintain, for most of the game, two plus invulnerable saves on a lot of their units. It was so hard killing them. There was also at one point where I did manage to get the Air Force, uh, accompanied by several of the other uh, Marine Flyers, focused in on the Chaos uh, Titan, and we destroyed all of its shields, and we managed to rip a few hull points down, and then my Revenant Titan focused in on, fired, and we destroyed it. Another huge turning point in the game was when my Scorpion uh, 2 moved up, locked its Pulsars on the uh, Angrath, that big monstrous demon, and fired a shot, hit it, rolled a six on the D-table, and uh, another few more wounds, finally killing him off. That was a huge fluke. Um, with that said, though, we had some purple rain falling in the rear of our lines, where there was all these demonettes coming out, fall by the mask, and they would run in, and they destroyed so many marines, and they ripped and crippled my... Um, Wave Serpents. It was pretty horrendous. Um, as the game progressed, it was just fighting on both sides. There was really no quarter given either way, and it really turned out into a draw. After all, an entire day of fighting, it turned out into a draw, and that's that's what you get sometimes, but it was such a good play, and it was such a good group of guys just having fun, uh, throwing dice, and smashing things up. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to the next one. So kudos to our organizer, and kudos to everyone for, you know, waking up and being flexible and just being prepared to go ahead with a great day and uh, just work really well together and making sure the team's our, the teams worked well and the turns progressed as well. Uh, the table itself, it, you'll notice there wasn't a lot of terrain on it and that really helped things out. It just made things move a lot smoother and uh, <laughs> lots of things died but a lot of things did live and uh, continue to cause just absolute havoc. So overall, again, fantastic game and what I'd like to do is I'd like to hear from you guys what type of experiences you've had with Apocalypse? What are some really cool things that have happened in your game? So with that said, I look forward to seeing them, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.